See, it's not every time that we get products early. Or at least we can't whenever the UPS guy just screws the shipment up. Because yes, it's finally here. Well, not literally for me, but yeah, no more leaks, rumors, or delays. Google just announced the Pixel 4a and even leaked future devices. We have more hands-on leaks of the Moto Razr and it keeps looking better. And we get some new renders of the Huawei Mate 40 and let's just say it's uh, different. I'm Jaime Rivera and for once, you can stop looking at me funny. I actually don't have the unit yet, but it's shipping, don't worry. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals, and here's the thing, if it is Pixel Day, let's begin with Pixel Deals, because that's the beauty of it. Right now, the Pixel 4 is currently $45 off, leaving the 64 gigabyte variant for $754. However, if you go for the 4XL, you can catch an $80 discount, leaving it at $820 shipped, I know, kind of steep. B&H also has some deals on iPads, like the case of the 11-inch variant, which is $400 off. Now, the price is kind of steep, but you are getting the one terabyte of variant, which is Wi-Fi plus cellular, for $1099. Finally, the Garmin Phoenix 5S, which I use and love, is $62 off, leaving it at $438 shipped. And here's the thing, I paid $1,000 for that watch, so that's crazy inexpensive. In addition, there are deals for AirPods, Thunderbolt docks, and more in the links in the description. Now, we haven't really covered the whole thing about TikTok yet, mainly because we were expecting for it to just go away like most political things, but, uh, well, <laughs> apparently there's kind of a solution. Currently, it's trending on social media that Microsoft wants a piece of that pie. In a new statement, Microsoft confirmed that they want to buy U.S. arm of TikTok, and this development comes after Satya Nadella talked to the U.S. president. According to them, they are interested in doing the security review, which the president asked for, and they will also pursue discussions with TikTok's parent company, Bike dance. These discussions should be completed by the week of September 15th, and Microsoft would also allow other investors to pitch in. We'll keep you posted on that part because uh, I can't really say that I like LinkedIn anymore now than I did before Microsoft bought it. So let's just hope they don't screw up TikTok. And speaking of purchases, uh, last Friday we discussed the possibility of NVIDIA acquiring ARM from SoftBank, and uh, you know, I even told you, I don't even know if this is really possible because NVIDIA uses this architecture and what will happen to the architecture for every other OEM that, uh, you know, makes ARM chips. Well, now it seems that not only Nvidia, but also Samsung wants a small piece of the pie. According to an industry official, Samsung is considering buying a small stake in ARM around three to 5%. Apparently Samsung's goal is to reduce their loyalty payments for producing chips based on their architecture. The problem is that we're not sure if even Nvidia's deal will apparently happen as it might have antitrust issues, what I've been mentioning. We know that to some degree, Samsung, Nvidia, Apple sort of compete in the same business, which is why Samsung's strategy works best. A small share of this assures regulators that it isn't an anti-competitive business going on, and they did a small thing with ASML back in 2012. And we also saw Samsung do it with Wacom. They bought a small portion of the company because they used the technology for the Galaxy Note. In addition, to the recent review that I just made of the Galaxy Book Flex. Uh, but yeah, let's see what happens as a, this could get interesting. Now, how about if we move the spotlight over to the Huawei Mate 40 series? And I say series because we're actually not necessarily gonna talk about the Pro, I hope. Today we get some interesting, interesting leaks. Apparently we're getting these devices in October and now we've got some CAD renders from OnLeaks and they look kind of weird. Now remember, this is not the Pro, so no waterfall display. We get a regular curved display with a dual pill shaped punch hole in the top left. Now when you turn the phone around, we get this huge stove, and I mean huge. Uh, it has three camera sensors with no periscopic lens and another sensor that kind of looks like Apple's LiDAR solution. The leaks also mention that it includes a 6.4 inch display, but we don't have any more information on internals, though we are expecting the usual suspects from Huawei. Stay tuned. And how about if we talk about the Moto Razr 5G, whatever the name is going to be. I think the name is pretty much nailed. We weren't expecting much of a change in design that we saw some leaks and today we get some even better ones. Uh, 
and some developments that are not necessarily great. If you remember last week, we got some pics from the upcoming device from Evan Blass, and now we get some hands-on images from Weibo. These aren't exactly high resolution, but sure, we're open to seeing some new improvements. For starters, the chin is getting smaller and apparently the fingerprint sensor is no longer there. We also are able to see the outside and it looks like, well, we'll still get a main camera sensor, apparently no dual cameras, but according to the rumor, it will be the upgraded 48 megapixel sensor and the selfie camera is expected to jump to 20 megapixels. However, we can't really see if the notch is changing due to the dark wallpaper. Some of the other leaked specifications include a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, a 2845 milliamp hour battery, and 18 watt charging. My biggest problem, to be honest, is that it's not like if I trust Motorola when it comes to photography. I never have. I think, no, it would be just too much of a sick burn, but you get my point. I was gonna reference a phone from back in 2007 or eight that I think takes better photos, but anyways, we'll see what we get. And finally, and yeah, I'm gonna repeat finally a ton of times. Finally, the hottest news today is that we finally, oh my God, we finally get the announcement for the Pixel 4a. And yes, there are some reviews from some of my peers already out there. Let me start by giving you some official specifications. This phone brings a 5.81 inch full HD plus display. It's powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. It brings a 3140 milliamp hour battery, 18 watt fast charging, USB PD 2.0 standard. You're getting a 12.2 megapixel shooter at the back with both OIS and EIS stabilization, and it supports features like HDR+, dual exposure controls, portrait mode, and even night sight with astrophotography. Now, video capture is where things are kind of limited. It's capped at 1080p at 30 frames per second. And uh, well, the selfie camera is of eight megapixels, f2.0 with no autofocus magic. It's actually already available for pre-orders and it retails for $349. It will be available for purchase on August 20th. However, Google didn't stop there. They actually leaked their own lineup for the fall. They revealed that we will be getting a Pixel 4a 5G, which should start at $499 and it'll also debut the Pixel 5, which we still don't know if that will be a flagship or not. They also gave us a teaser of both phones side by side with a nameplate, it was kind of cool. Uh, but uh, let us know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think it was worth the wait? Again, sorry, my shipment was horribly delayed. I do highly recommend you watch Michael Fisher's review on it. By the way, Michael is so close to the million subscribers. Guys, if you have not subscribed to The Mr. Bobo on YouTube, please do. But yeah, let us know in the comments. What do you guys think? Worth it or not? I think I'm getting the black unit and uh, I actually didn't want that color. It looks kind of dull if you see the videos right now, but uh, I'm waiting to see the unit. I mean, they could convince me otherwise like they did with the Pixel Book Go, but we'll see. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me try to experiment with 18 by nine. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.